What's up, guys? And welcome to another episode of The Tuesday Show brought to you by Blue Light Media. Today, we're interviewing the actual egg. What's up, guys? Unfortunately, uh, the egg that broke the internet had to, had to bounce and, and didn't want to stay for the interview. I, I think you just got a little too excited. <laughs> <laughs> but today we wanted to talk about um, Beyond Meat. And if you're not familiar with Beyond Meat, it's an incredible company that's creating an alternative to, to beef, chicken, things like that. And I gotta say, Tim, you know you're doing something right when your job is eating a cheeseburger for breakfast. 100. Yeah. I'm so excited right now. <laughs> so, what do you think? Should we just take a bite of it and then Let's do, our do it. Analysis? Yeah, right, well, cool. only one way to find out. One of them is real meat. Really? One of them is real meat, one of them is not. Okay, you can't do that to me. <laughs> have you ever, have you ever done a cheeseburger cheers? Um, I have, and let's do it. All right, cool. Cheers. It's so good. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, I'm not going to eat this whole thing on camera, mm. even though I, I probably could. This is a great alternative, especially yeah, for good. people who aren't necessarily like vegan or anything like that, but they need that alternative, which kind of speaks to you, right? And why you wanted to bring it on today. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I've been following Beyond Meat for at least like six years now. I mean, they came on the scene like five, six years ago and like made really good, um, uh, like beef crumbles and like chicken tenders, kind of like really thinking outside the box. So it's really excited them, excited to see them kind of break into mainstream market and like have partnerships with Carl's Jr., Del Taco, et cetera. Mm. Yeah, so let's talk about that uh, really quick. They've, it feels as if they've blown up over the last two or three years. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? What do you feel like they're doing right from a digital marketing standpoint, as well as you know maybe in the real world as well? Yeah, uh, digital marketing standpoint, they're definitely killing it on Instagram. Their handle is um, at Beyond Meat. Um, as soon as you hit the page, um, one of the things that definitely caught our eye, Mick, when we were reviewing it, is the fact that they're utilizing um, their story highlights in a really, really smart way. Um, you know, the first highlights that you see on their page is their partnership with Carl's Jr., Del Taco, and everywhere else that they're actually currently being served, which I think is incredibly smart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then if you scroll down further, should I keep going? Yeah. Yeah, you scroll down further, then you start seeing, you know, them utilizing influencers. They got um, that wide receiver for the Houston Texans, uh, DeAndre Hopkins on there, yeah. doing a campaign for them. Um, so it's very clear and apparent who their target audience is yeah. with their specific, um, specific influencers that they choose to work with. Um, and then going down further, they do collaborate Collaborations. I mean, they're definitely up on their social media holiday calendars with National Cookie Day. Um, I mean, you wouldn't ex really expect that from a vegan meat company, but they do partnerships with, um, you know, like vegan cookie dough brands and um, they do looping within their um, campaign posts, sure. right? So it's like you see them loop back to their profile from their uh, collaborators page and, and so forth. So what we can take from that really is like, they're utilizing the right influencers. It's like it's super clear that they're speaking to males. They have Carl's Jr., they have Del Taco. I know that I'm a frequent customer of both these <laughs> restaurants. Um, but in addition to that, they're also using influencers that speak to their demographic, which isn't necessarily like an Instagram model. I just burped up cheeseburger. <laughs> which isn't necessarily like an Instagram model or like the, the vintage Carl's Jr. ads with, you know, with those types of celebrities. But they're they're taking people that really resonate with, you know, the sports community, the male com male dominated community, um, by selecting the right influencer, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about placement too? I mean, you mentioned yesterday uh, where you actually found this, and I thought that that was really interesting. So, there were a couple different, um, I think like what, what do you call it like points where they actually you know like were, point of sale. yeah point of sale um and i would definitely say there was at least five i mean i follow a couple different vegan pages on instagram and um that's where i first saw it was some of these vegan accounts several weeks ago posting up you know kind of like inside information that it's only served in california oh my gosh now it's available at carl's jr different things so it's like i would see those i would save those posts and then eventually i was being served ads mm -hmm. and um yeah. I think. What, so, okay. So, and let's look at this too. 
there's another company out there that's pretty substantial. Um, what was it? The Impossible Burger? The Impossible Burger, yeah. yeah. What do you think that Beyond Burger is doing better than Impossible Burger? Um... Uh, well, I'll be honest. Impossible definitely came out the gate as like a higher end uh, non or a vegan meat patty um, because it's served at restaurants like Umami and stuff like that. But I think um, Beyond definitely definitely is 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 going hard in targeting that like male meat eating demographic. Um, so that's one thing that's definitely differentiating them um, and the kind of like meeting the consumer in the middle, right? Yeah. Um, and then secondly, I think. Um, I mean, I don't know. They have great packaging. Yeah. And then, um, and they're always trying to get better. So I, I believe the patty that they're serving right now is like the Beyond Burger 2.0 or something, which the, they're always fine tuning the taste, which I think is, is pretty cool just to make it taste a little bit more like meat. Sure. Innovation, marketing. Yes. Making it taste better, getting the right placements, that whole thing. I heard that that's the secret to any, to any real business is innovation and marketing, right? Cool. Mm -hmm. Any last thoughts on Beyond Burger? It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> it is really good. Um, you guys, thank you so much for checking out this episode of the Tuesday Show. Um, we're not working with Beyond Burger yet, but if you guys from Beyond are watching this, we would definitely love to work with you. Um, but remember, no matter what you do, be sure to put your heart into it, and we'll see you next week on the Tuesday Show.